My name is Rosa Menkman and this is an introduction to a work in progress which takes place inside a cave. What I'm about to show you is a video recorded within this sketch of a new work. A new work that is about the meeting of two historic perspectives. Or maybe to be more precise, it's a work about the angel of history and her mission to learn from a cyclops vision. So first, a little backstory to the first known appearance of the angel. In 1921, Walter Benjamin bought the print Angelus Novus, which was created by the artist Paul Klee just a year before. In his essay, Thesis on the Philosophy of History, Benjamin describes this Angelus Novus as an image of the angel of history. He writes, looking as though she's about to move away from something she fixedly contemplates. Her eyes are staring, her mouth is open, her wings are spread, her face is turned towards the past, where she perceives a chain of events, catastrophes that pile wreckage upon wreckage in front of her feet. While many have speculated about what catastrophes that angel was contemplating, in 2010 the angel actually entered the realms of media archaeology, and ever since she then sang her eulogy for Paul, which was an encoding system for analog television, she has been documenting her journey backwards into the future. She writes that whatever encoding system used, there will always be flaws. Glitches, noise and other unexpected slippage or failure will never be fully eradicated. There is no such thing as perfection. There is just a melancholic cycle of despair. But then, as she climbed what she calls a staircase to nowhere, Inside the ruins of the gardens of Hilitla, the breeding grounds of machine learning algorithms offered her a peek through the looking glass. As she stands there eye in eye with a ruined image of herself, shards of the past suddenly reflect an image of her future. And this is when the angel realizes a new perspective needs to be traveled. Finally, about cyclopsies. Some say mythology is an algorithm that functions as a tool respective to a place, but out of sync with time. One of such mythologies involves cyclopsies. When it comes about cyclopsies, there is much unclear. There is things unclear about their homeland, their lineage, and also about their sense of sight. A general consensus seems to be that cyclopsies see the world flat. They have a very dim vision as they perceive the world in just one dimension through their one eye. I found, however, that some speculate that there is a certain line of cyclopsies that actually chose to have just one eye. They traded their second eye with Aedes to receive the vision of their future demise. So it's here, in this fractured image of a Cyclops future vision, that the angel of history might find her new perspective. However, to find out more about the sight of a Cyclops today, I require an alchemy of the past. To finish this story I want to facilitate a meeting between the angel of history and the cyclops. I believe this is necessary for the cyclops and the angel of history to align their sense of sight. And finally, for the angel to see her future. <laughs>